What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. That is just the most amazing feeling when you can print your work, hang it up and display it in your house. I actually have three other prints coming. I bought four frames and I'm going to deck this office out in some of my prints. Um, I haven't printed anything in like eight years so it just feels so amazing to finally get a print up in our new house. Speaking of prints, um, today what I decided to do is I reached out um, to you guys on social media asking you guys to email me some of your guys' pictures to do a little review to kind of motivate you guys and influence you guys to continue the shoot um, during this lockdown and help you guys stay creative. So let's roll the intro and jump right in. So this first image was sent to me by Amir Hadzik. On his Instagram it was taken in, on a trip to uh, Finland. Um, it's a really great shot. It's a first person shot of him on a dog sled. I really like how he made the orange leash from the sled to the dogs really pop with the white snow and the gray of the dog's hair. Um, he also has a little bit of sun peeking through there which is really neat to get in shots. It kind of makes it a little more of its own. Maybe it was taken in dawn or dusk in the morning. Um, and the sun also makes the dogs really pop. I really like this edit. Everything's really crisp. The color tones are great. And like I said, that orange really pops. And I like what you did with that there. Keep up the good work, Almir. If you want to follow him on Instagram, his Instagram is A and E Travel. So check him out on Instagram. He's a really great photographer. So this next image I really like, not only because I'm in it and because he's actually a really good friend of mine but because it's a very creative image. You've probably seen him in some of my other videos. Andrew Kirsch is a close friend of mine. This picture was taken on the spot where I was laying in the grass, just taking selfies with my camera, messing around, waiting for the guys. And three of my friends came over and lined up their cameras through each other's LCD screen and caught the shot of through my LCD screen of me taking a selfie. I think it's a really creative idea that we had. And I really like how he kept the camera settings on the bottom of the camera. The background's all blurred. You can only see the camera bodies. You can see his camera body and then the next camera body and then my LCD screen, which is really neat. It's a great shot, man. Make sure you keep up the good work. You've been doing really well. And I can't wait to see what else we come up with together, man. So great shot, Andrew. Keep it up, man. And if you want to follow him in social media, his Instagram is Hey I Am Andrew. You can look him up on YouTube. He also does a YouTube channel. And his YouTube channel is Andrew Kirsch's. So make sure you check him out. He's a great friend of mine and an awesome video and photographer. So these next two photos were sent to me from Dan Vanneman. Um, he sent me like three and I just couldn't choose. So I picked two of my favorites. Dan's very good with composition in his photography. He's really good at letting you know what his subject is and zoning in on that subject. Um, for this example, um, it kind of looks like a tumbleweed or some weeds and he really focuses on the weeds with the sun in the background again, peeking through them. The weeds are what are in focus, so you know that's your subject. Great job, Dan. Um, I love how the background's blurred. Great bokeh in this picture. And the second image that he sent me is through what looks like a rusty pipe in black and white. Um, I really like the texture in this picture, how you kind of made the pipe look really old and rusty. It probably was, but you did a great job showing that for a black and white image. I like how you captured the water coming out of the drain of the pipe. That's really cool. And your subject obviously is the girl on the other side of the pipe. So it kind of frames her in. It's a great shot, a really good black and white shot. And yeah, keep up the good work, Dan. I'm really impressed with how good of a photographer you've become. And it's really awesome to see you doing something that you love and keep perfecting as you go. So great job, Dan. If you want to follow him on Instagram, his Instagram is Daniel Vanneman. So this fifth picture is from Kelly Quante. After we got talking, she sent me her website and I took a look at some of her work and she just recently did a documentary, little black and white um, portfolio of what's going on in the world. And she's from Detroit, so she went out in the city and kind of took pictures of what was going on. Everything's in black and white. She also has a little video to go with it and it's very well done. So this picture is from that and it, what looks like of the Fox Theater in Detroit, I'm guessing. Empty streets, cones out, like nothing's open as most things aren't right now. So very good. You can see the empty streets, which I like um, for that project, obviously. The image is also really crisp. I like um, 
the architecture of the building on the left side. I like how your photo kind of follows the railway up the street. So very good shout Kelly. If you want to check her out and check out her documentary, her Instagram is Quantifiable Adventures. I would suggest going to check out that documentary, which I'll link in the description below, just because I think it's fantastic and I think it's an awesome idea to capture life in the moment like she is right now. So great job, Kelly. So again, the next two images were sent to me from Matthew Stevenson. He sent me a few images and I just couldn't choose again, so I decided to narrow it down to two. Both of these images are in black and white and both of them are landscapes. And in my opinion, landscapes are probably one of the hardest things to do in black and white, but both of these pictures get the job done for sure. So in this first picture, we got some mountain range, snow-capped mountains. Um, I really like how you made the white of the snow on top of the mountains stand out even though it's a black and white image. That's a very well done job. And I really like how you got the clouds over top of the mountains. That was a really good shot. Um, one thing I suggest to all photographers is kind of in post-production to take a look at your image and see what you want to keep and what you don't want to keep. Um, for example, in this image, I probably would have taken out some of the sky and a little bit of the foreground of the mountain range or before the mountain range because it kind of takes away from the aspect of the image. Um, but photography is an individual art, so you do what pleases you first, of course. Um, don't worry about what other people think. And I still do the same thing a lot. So in that second picture that he sent me, he has kind of a desert scene with the focus being this tree in the center, which has really great texture, really good contrast to it. I like how um, he has some clouds in the sky there that are captured. Kind of looks like they're moving to the left of the image. It kind of flows with the trees that are also bending to the left. I like that. Black and white landscapes are very hard. And Matt, you really hit the nail on this one. I really enjoy this image a lot. And that's kind of why I chose this one. Um, it's a great job, Matt. Um, if you want to check him out, his Instagram is Matt Black Photo and Film. Um, he has a lot of great photos, travel photos, people photos. A lot of it's in black and white. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you follow him on Instagram. So photo number eight. This was sent to me by Scour Watkins. This is very well done. She does a great job with capturing her subject. Um, I like how she had a lot of neutral tones but the subject is wearing a red dress and yellow heels it kind of makes the whole image pop with the blue sky i really like that i also like how it kind of her dress kind of is swaying in the wind along with her hair it really gives the picture motion and it kind of speaks to you more when you have that much uh, attention to detail in your pictures so yeah this is a really well done picture um skylar when i was looking through her instagram she also did um, a quarantine kind of challenge with herself. She took film photos around her town. So if you want to check that out, her Instagram is the sad punk. Go ahead and check that out because they're really great shots. And I really do appreciate the art of film camera still. So great job, Skylar. Keep up the good work. So this ninth image was also sent to me by a friend. Um, you've seen him on my channel a little bit too, Vince, um, Vince Verico. This picture was of a moon, which he's been getting a little bit into astrophotography, which more power to you, man, because that's not something that I could do, and you are really great at it. I've seen a lot of your pictures of the moon and of your astrophotography, and you're getting very good at it. Um, in this picture, I love the texture of the moon. I love how you can see the craters, the lines in it. Um, it really pops. I also really like how you made the moon kind of look alive, like it was it was dead of night, and the purpley tones in the background of this night sky really makes the moon pop because it's just the moon in the image. But yeah, Vince, you've been getting really good with astrophotography. Keep up the good work. I know you're gonna get a lot of sick pictures with that extender you just got for your 70 to 300. If you wanna follow, and if you wanna follow Vince on Instagram, his Instagram is vverico. Check him out, he's a good friend of mine. He does a lot of appreciation posts. He posts a lot of his photography. And he also has a YouTube channel that you guys should definitely check out too. And for the last picture, this was sent to me from Zach Broderson, um, what looks like kind of a Victorville from Pokemon. Not too sure what the real plan is or if that is what the real plan is called. Really well done on this image, Zach. I love the color tones of the image. I really love how you take the viewer's eye from the plant along to the blurred section where you have the other little planters and the garden area and the girl in the background who is also blurred looking at the plants. But I love how you made your main subject on that little Victor Bell looking thing. That's really cool. I love the color tones of this. Great contrast. Way to up the shadows in this image. So really well done, Zach. Um, I know you're kind of new in photography, so keep up the great work. Don't quit on it. You're doing a great job, and I love looking at your pictures. If you want to check Zach out on Instagram, his Instagram is Brack 
Zoderson. I think I said that right. It's like his name mixed up a little bit. <laughs> But yeah, check him out on Instagram. He does a lot of traveling for his job, so he takes his camera with him and gets a lot of cool shots. His stories are also really interesting too, so make sure you check him out um, and give him a follow. So really great job to everyone who submitted their photos. Thank you for submitting and thank you for being a part of this. I hope it gives you guys motivation and sparks your creativity to go out and continue the shoot. Don't stop just because we're all locked inside. Be creative with it and find things around your house or take a walk around the block and just find different things to shoot and continue to be creative because it really is important at a time like this to continue to have that creative spark. So if you like this photo review, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, make sure you follow me on my social medias so that way you guys are updated with when I'll be doing another one of these because there will definitely be a photo review number two coming up soon. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.